Hey everybody, it's been a while. James here again with you. And today I got the Phantom out, my Crossman Phantom 177. Uh, center point scope, that's what I always shoot with. But uh, I particularly have this rig set out today, I'm shooting it for you guys because I really wanna see if a spring air rifle like this one, that's not very expensive at all, can shoot just as good as a PCP air rifle. Um, specifically comparing it to my Beeman QB Chief. Now a lot of you may know this and a lot of you may not, but I've been shooting um, air rifles since the mid 90s, I've stated that in a past video. But I've only shot the spring style air rifles. I haven't shot nitro piston or PCP, um, except a couple, you know, about a month or so ago, I got I acquired the, the Beeman PCP air rifle. So today, I'll be shooting at 25 yards with my favorite pellet, Crossman Premier Hollow Point in 7.9 grain. And we're gonna be shooting a paper plate, um, that's what I usually shoot at, with the Sharpie marker crosshair on it, um, just, to, just to line up my scope perfect and get everything set. Now, uh, a lot of people state that I have my gun fully modded, which I don't. The only mod I have to it is the trigger. Um, I did the pin tube mod, which I took a piece of um, pin tube that you usually, you know, a whole pin that you can write with. I cut a, a piece of it off the tube and took the trigger part, did all that stuff myself, made the trigger a little bit better. But other than that, it's just a stock factory Crossman rifle. Um, and then I got my scope on here. So enough of me talking, let's get to shooting. Okay, hey everybody, so I'm back with the plate here. Um, here's the group you guys seen on camera, and then here's a group I shot off camera. Now, uh, the group here you see, like I said, you, you saw it on camera. Now, the reason why I want to show this real quick and talk about this, not only is this a really sufficient group, um, this is probably about half inch on average, and that's about what I'm getting out of my PCP gun with the 22 version of these crossbow. <laughs> Crossman hollow points doesn't weight doesn't matter it matters where the hole lands and so I just wanted to state that because you know the the pellets are kind of consistent I guess I don't buy them I don't special order my pellets so that's another thing I want to say um, I just don't see the point in special ordering pellets for something a gun like this it's so cheap um, I paid only sixty dollars for this rifle probably four or five summers ago. You know, I'm. I don't really care about putting really high, high grade pellets in it. So anyway, um, you know, plus these pellets right here, you can see I've killed squirrels with them in videos in the past. But at 25 yards, that's sufficient enough to take small game anyway. I mean, it is what it is. And these are only about six dollars and fifty cents a tin, so I'm not complaining for one cent a pellet. All right, so that's out of the way. Now, as I stated, this is the group you've seen me on camera. Uh, this is a group I shot off camera because a lot of you state that I should use the artillery hold. Well, for one, this gun does not like the standard artillery hold that um, Tom Gaylord from Pyramid Air created, or so-called named it, uh, because of the, the action of the a rifle itself. Now, what this gun does and likes is a little bit of pressure. Not all guns are like that. Every gun is different, so you'll have to shoot um, in different positions and try out different things with your air rifle. But I've been getting the most consistent accuracy with my gun, a little bit of pressure on the front end of it. Everybody says, well, you need to hold your hand open and all this and that. Like I said, I've been shooting air guns for a while, and I'm not saying I'm a professional by any means, but I do test out my rifles. I probably shoot 
Um, tell you the truth, this tin right here, this is a brand new tin that I just cracked open for this video. This is probably the 15th or 20th tin that I've put through this rifle, and that's a lot. A lot of pellets through this gun since I've had it like four or five summers ago. So, like I said, that's what that that's what that does to my gun. That that right there, holding it as the artillery hold. Now this group, um, like I said, a little bit of pressure, um, and it's perfect. Uh, the only problem with that is, when a gun this picky, you have to hold it at that same exact pressure every time. I mean, you can see it's it's so spot on. It, I mean, if I mess up just a little bit, it's on me. But you know, squirrel. Uh, rabbit whatever it's game over lights out at 25 yards so i just want to get that out of the way and um, i'm going to include the clip real quick of me shooting my beeman qb chief at 25 yards with the the crossman premier 22 cal version of these hollow points 14.3 grain and show you guys that i'm pretty much getting the same accuracy out of them out of both guns now like i said you know the the standard spring gun you're fighting that recoil that's the only problem difference between a PCP and a spring gun you're actually fighting the gun compared to just letting the gun rest at its state and you shoulder or whatever you do when you shoot a PCP you're actually fighting this one because of the double recoil so you know that's why people claim that the PCP is more accurate but once you learn uh, your spring gun and finesse it the way it needs to be handled every time you shoot it and I mean every time you'll get the consistency of it and find out the sweet spot like I have I mean for store-bought ammo at 25 yards, I am not complaining one bit. So I'm going to go ahead and include that clip now. Okay, so you've seen there I got about a quarter of an inch group uh, with those Crossman hollow points, 14.3 grain and 22 cal. And, you know, that's not bad either. So I have to say, even though these cheaper air rifles are very hard to handle, unless you're really used to them and shoot them all the time, like this one, like I said, I shoot it a lot. And uh, you find that sweet spot, and if it likes artillery hold or not, you know, you find that out, you're going to be golden with it. No matter what the price point is, you know, um, granted, yes, there are some better pellets uh, that are quality controlled and checked better, but um, it is what it is. So, um, I want to tell everybody thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. As always, we'll catch you on the next one, everybody. And also, comment below and tell me what you think, um, if you think a, a spring or nitro piston gun can be as accurate as a PCP. So, thanks for watching.